G'day guys, this video I'm going to do a quick review on the program called PC Remote. Um, it's a program that basically you download the program to your PC and you download the app to your Windows 8 mobile phone. Um, mine is a Nokia Windows 8 mobile phone and it gives you the opportunity to use your mobile phone as a remote control to your computer device as in your desktop PC or your laptop um, to get started is we'll open up the internet this is the main website for PC remote um, I'll add the link in the description box below um, in there it gives you all the information about what it is what it, what it can do what it can't do it, it has a lot of abilities so this is only a short review so I won't go over them all um, it is a free download. There is, um, you can get the next version up, which is in Australian dollars, three dollars and ninety or something like that. There are a few options that um, are disabled, but for basic use as a remote control, it's fine with the free version. Radio. So what you need to do is navigate to their actual home website, which is this one here, which I will leave a description and link. In the box below you navigate to that website and all you need to do is click on download server um, it's a very small package just download that um, before you install it you might need whether if you're unsure or not you might need to download .net.4.0 there's a link there just download and install that if you haven't got it on your system so apart from that download the server install it and it's pretty much easy and simple when you go from there so what, what that leaves you with is the desktop shortcut. You double click on that, which brings up this box here. Um, there's no need to fiddle with any of these particulars to start with. Just for using it as a remote control for your computer, basically, there's no need to go into any of that unless you want to buy the upgraded version. That's when all these information here and settings will really come into play. Um, the only one that I have checked down here is start server automatically when the PC starts just so I don't have to worry about it that if I'm laying in bed in the bedroom I can just I know that the server is up and running at all times um, so that's all you have to do you just minimize that and then you go into your mobile phone and you download the PC remote app install that onto your mobile phone and we'll go from there the next part of this is I will move over now to the mobile phone right we're over at the mobile phone now basically this is your windows 8 mobile phone you scroll down until you find the pc remote app you open that up rightio now you're at the top you click on the refresh on there and that refreshes and gives you a list of all the pcs in your area on your network okay there's my pc alan's pc i click on that rightio that gives me the controls here for all your basic controls your volume your power your keyboard your mouse and your computer screen okay we'll click on the mouse button to start with which gives us control of the mouse on the computer screen now if you move your finger around the phone screen like this it'll move the mouse cursor on your computer so whatever you do on your phone it's replicated on the computer there's also the scroll panel which scrolls up and down as you as you would use on most um most devices these days okay so we'll go back the other one is we will have a look at the desktop if we click on desktop what that does is bring up the desktop on your mobile phone there's a keyboard there that you can use for doing if you need to add any text um, you click on the house button which takes you home to your main screen controls on your phone Radio. then we'll go across to featured apps that's all your lock like, windows media player and video players media controls so we'll get across back to media controls we'll click on media center um, which is on your pc it gives you all the play stop reform reverse forward all that sort of stuff now we'll have a look at youtube if you click on the youtube icon it brings up a uh, search button which you can type in what you want to search for whose youtube channel you want to go to we just done a quick search here and it brought up a video on boxing as i clicked on that that came straight up onto the screen on the pc 
Rightio, now we get back to the controls. And that's about it. So please subscribe and like my videos and I will see you next video. Thank you. Bye.